only games nowadays you can just kind of struggle through them quite easily without ever really getting beaten up, getting, you know, humbled in any kind of way. And I don't think it breeds the right kind of attitudes towards a challenge. I really don't. Like, this guy is going to kick me in because he's a dickhead. And this is a really tough mission too. Oh wow, I forgot how I only had like a slither of life. That's one of the things that I, I really dislike about the game, which is not necessarily its fault, it's more of a case of just its generation, you know. Games back in these days, they didn't refill your life between missions and stuff, it's one of those things where, when you die they did, which is really kind of them, because they didn't have to do that. Oh, I forgot about that move, that looked cool as shit. Oh, I missed my knee. Bollocks. So there's so many people in this particular zone. Like, you go in that door there and there's a bunch of people. You go up here and there's a bunch of people. And one of them's that crazy funny wrestler guy from Streets of Rage 2. Like, and then there's that guy over there that chucks shit. And it's really hard to isolate them. And that's not what I wanted to press. That's not what I wanted to press either, but fuck it. <laughs> oh, wow, I couldn't do the... Uh, that was uh, not my best activation, but I'll live. Oh. Oh no! Ooh, kicked him in the face. Stop it! Oh shit! I'll get him again though. Does that do damage when he picks me up? Oh, that's a block. Nice. Fucking! Oh, that looked awesome as I got myself into it. Shit. There we go. See what I mean? Good luck fighting groups on this game unless you really know what you're doing. And you really are comfortable with how to play. Like, there's so many tools that enable you to do the group stuff, but you need to learn, like, some serious crowd control. And it's the thing that I'm struggling with uh, on my hard playthrough. I just I cannot control... Uh, groups the way I wish I could. <laughs> that knee is so hilariously bad. <laughs> it's fast though. Let's go in here. I know there's like two dudes waiting to trap me. Yeah, I remember you. Kicking your ass. Exactly. Can I uh, get out of here and fight you in the street? Oh, it's a, no, not this street. Oh, don't kick me, dude. There he goes. There you go. Come here. Oh, the knee fucking misses, dude. I cannot do shit with it. It's terrible. <laughs> there was the gap. Did you see it when he did like all the prostrating to get to the end? That was when you were meant to hit him. Dodge the early stuff and then interrupt him, but uh, I didn't. I tried to interrupt him before that and I got punched. But you don't have to go up there, I don't think. I think you can kind of skirt this outer area and just fight those dudes. There's a lot of little offshoots. I really appreciate what this camera does, too. It got slated at the day by IGN and stuff. Because it, it does make the game look kind of fucking ugly. It does. But it works. When can you say that you couldn't see what was happening? You can always see what's happening. So it's a testament to doing something that's so counter the norm of the time that it just wasn't really appreciated like guy's chucking shit and it's kind of sad because i think as much as it's really really archaic and awkward and it's not the easiest game to play i think it's one of the better controlling characters in a game when you're used to it like when you've been playing god hand you know for like a couple weeks or a couple days oh you can break the doors I didn't even know that i should probably save this stuff for when i come over here because it's going to do a little cutscene it's going to show you General Tao, or whatever he's called. Kung Pao Man. Can I get just you? Can I have balls? Can I get, like, one of your mates? Nope. Bring it on. There we go. Took my timing's terrible with that stuff. Watch it. Again, 
I need to uh, not have my knee in that slot. It's not doing anything for me. Come on, big lad. I want you. Uh, left trigger. Time for a little fun. No? It's gonna get both of them. This. Yeah, you just knew. I don't. There we go. Oh, I, I didn't do that right. I wanted to do that. Can I do this? Oh, wrong button again. I wanted to do the roulette. It still counts though, because this will enable me to do my silly kicky things on this guy a ton. And then we can do the pummel, and then we can finish him with the pummel. Wow. But yeah. Notice how the edge of the corners of the screen is going kind of red. That's as close as this game goes to telling you that you're dying. I appreciate it because I don't like it when it's overt. But at the same time, uh, there's a health bar for a reason, you know. It's easy to not look at your health bar and, like, mistake it and stuff, but I, I wish there was none. I'd prefer it... I don't know. I'd prefer it on life bar. I'm old-fashioned like that, I guess.